Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to show you how to use the Gradient Mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be starting with a reference sketch that I created in Procreate on my iPad, so let's jump right in. First, import the reference sketch into Illustrator. I'll leave you a moment to take a screenshot so that you can follow along with me. Go to the Layers panel and double-click on the icon. Here you can rename the layer and check on the template mode. This will dim my image to 25% and lock the layer. Go ahead and create two new layers and name them Cherry and Stem. Let's begin by creating the Cherry Fruit. Activate the Ellipse tool and create a circle aligning with the reference sketch. I'll use a yellow color fill for this. Once we have the circle, activate the Direct Selection tool. Grab the top anchor point and bring it downward. Cherries aren't usually perfectly round. Then you can just resize to match the reference. Now that we have the shape completed, we can activate the Gradient Mesh tool. Go to the center and click to add a mesh. You can continue clicking to add more lines. Now if you go to the Layers panel and Command or Control click on the eye, you will see that our shape goes into a wireframe mode. This allows us to see what we're doing while following the reference. Now what we'll do is add more lines and modify the handles in order for the mesh to follow the natural shape of the cherry. With the Direct Selection tool, click on the handles or points to fix their positions. Remember to use as little mesh lines as possible in order to have smoother gradients. We can add more later if needed. Now that we're done adding the mesh lines, go back to the Layers panel and Command and Control click on the eye to revert to the normal mode. So we're ready to start coloring. If you clicked on the anchor points, you will see that you can assign a color to it. Using the colors I already picked out, we can assign darker colors towards the bottom left side and lighter colors towards the top right side of the cherry. This part can be a little tedious, which is why I said to add as little mesh lines as possible. Simplicity is key here. Just keep clicking and adding colors as you see fit. For the top center part where the stem would be, we'll make it darker since it will cast a shadow and it will show how the shape of the cherry bends at this point. I'll continue adding and changing colors until it looks as natural as possible. Sometimes a little trial and error is needed. To finalize, we will add some highlights. Create two ovals on each side. With the curvature tool, modify the right oval into following the roundness of the cherry. Once completed, head to the effect menu at the top and go to Gaussian Blur Effect. This will create a smooth highlight without having to add the shape to our gradient mesh. Adjust the positioning as you see fit. Alright, so moving on to the stem. Let's lock and hide the cherry shape for the moment. With the pen tool, create two straight lines and then curve them by using the curvature tool. Connect the shapes together at the bottom and at the top. As we did with the cherry shape, activate the gradient mesh tool and add a few mesh lines to this shape. With the direct selection tool, select the points and add our colors. Awesome, so now let's put everything into one layer and then duplicate our shape, send it to the back and position them to match the reference. Now let's move on to drawing the leaf. With the pen tool, trace the leaf shape following the reference. Give it a dark green color for starters. Activate the gradient mesh tool and let's add some points and modify them a little while using the Direct Selection tool. Like we did earlier, select some points and apply some light green colors towards the top. And finally, add a white highlight like we did earlier with the Cherry Fruit. 
And this is how to use the gradient mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator in order to create a cherry illustration. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Cheers everyone!